everybody, Vinny with Cosmos Racing awesome. Wheels, and we've got a lot of emails, a lot of comments, a lot of messages talking about what fits an Evo with Brembo Wings. Tell us a little about your car. This is my 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Um, I bought the car about two years ago. Uh, basically brought it back from the dead. Uh, just got done doing a lot of go fast things to it. Thank you, ETS, Force Performance, Tile, and Zona Rotor in Fuel Injector Clinic. Mike at M-Tuned for the base map and the help with the tune and everyone. Um, maybe going for a stock block record, we'll see. As ETS forward facing turbo kit with the Zona Rotor 7864, 1650 cc injectors, Walbro 525, Hellcat pump, all kinds of goodies. And a partridge in a pear tree. Yes. <laughs> By the way, this is Dane. Hi. <laughs> Steven. If you guys ever bought anything from Import Image Racing, they're joining us today to help me do the grunt work for this. And we're gonna try out four wheels. You wanna go over those wheels? Steven. Want to take us through the wheels? We have the Cosmos N5R 17 by 9. We're going to try to fit this on the Evo as well. Correct, Dane? Yes. All right. Then we got the 18 by 9 206R. Going to be gun, I believe that's gunmetal with the polished lip. Hopefully that, I think that'll look good on there. And then over here we have the XT006R, an 18 by 9 as well. And it's a polished silver or machined, I guess you could say. And then we also have over here, this would be the MR7, an 18 by 9 in white. We're going to hope, hopefully it looks good on this Blue car. Hell yeah! <laughs> we're gonna try the wheels without the spacers. Now we're gonna try the wheels with spacers. We're gonna start with the 17 by nine and five R. Dane's gonna put it on the front and go from there. The 17 inch and five R, we need a spacer. So we're gonna put a spacer on there. We're gonna tighten it down, let you know what size spacer we're using and check the clearance. Yeah, yeah, I see yep. paint on it. Okay, so we just tried the wheel with a three Five, don't worry, you guys aren't gonna get this wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we're I trying, am though. <laughs> we tried it with a five millimeter spacer and it still rubs. So now we're gonna try a 10 millimeter spacer and go from there and then we're gonna try the same thing on the back real quick. Hold out. So first thing you're gonna notice, first thing you're gonna notice is it definitely comes out. So it's a 17 by nine. 15. If you have a rolled fender, you're pulled out, you're wide, I think it'll look pretty cool. I think it'll look cool. But right now, it's pretty aggressive. It's pretty aggressive. Yeah, All right, so let's do, let's let's pop this off and let's throw it on the back real quick to see what kind of clearance you get from that. We can move on to that. So right now, no spacer on the back, no spacer on the back. You're gonna see there's plenty of space. That's a shame because this wheel looks beautiful on here. <laughs> To do the 006R. Right now, we're gonna check it on the back first because it seems like we don't need spacers or anything special. Pretty excited. It's nice when a wheel clears with a small spacer, and yeah. we now know you need extended studs. Um, we don't have them on this car, so we do our best to tighten it down just to show you what it looks like. All right, we're just putting the XT 206R in the back, and you're gonna see again no spacer needed. Plenty of clearance, and again, I think it looks awesome. It's a that beautiful wheel. What nice. do you guys think? What do you think? Do you think it looks good? It's or shining, and I think it's round. Does nothing mm. look good on an Evo? Is that what you're saying? Hey, I'm a I'm a former two-time Evo owner, two-time champion. Moving on. <laughs> All right, let's pop that off. for Dane now. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's go right with the, you want to grab the MR7, let's throw it right on the back because it seems to be the... Good, good. Oh, nice. Is that correct? Nice. You screwed that. Oh, wah, wah. All right, yeah, right yeah. now we have the MR7. We're going to throw that on. That's badass. Let's take a step back. Yeah. That looks good. That white and blue looks awesome. I think it looks beautiful. I love white wheels. Again, it's our number one seller here at Cosmos Racing Wheels. Um, no spacer needed, again. No extended studs. No extended studs. So, let's pop this off and see what we need for the front. So, we put a five millimeter spacer on the front with the MR7 18 by nine. And it fits. Not only does it fit, it fits well and it looks good. Take a look. I'd be really interested for your guys' comments. Let us know what you think about colors. What do you think about these colors we've shown you so far? And your opinion on this wheel. Please comment below. All right, we're gonna move on to the next wheel now. All right, so we're gonna do the 006R. Right now, we're gonna check it on the back first because it seems like we don't need spacers or anything special. Pretty excited. It's nice when a wheel 
clears or the small spacer, and yeah. we now know we can sell it to you guys comfortably. Especially with the way the smoke comes out. All right guys, so we just put on the XT 206R 18 by nine, and we suggest throwing a 15 millimeter spacer on there. That's gonna work best for you. And you'll notice it doesn't really stick out that far. So to recap on the wheels that can go on the Evo, I don't necessarily wanna say fit, but the MR7, 18 by nine, those clear the rear, no problem. On the front, you'll need only a little five millimeter spacer. The N5R will need a 15 millimeter spacer. The spokes come too close to the front brakes to clear the rear, it clears fine. So if you were to do an N5R, you need to do extended studs, wide body kit, that kind of stuff. Um, with the XT206R and the XT006R, fitment is perfect in the rear with no spacer, but up front, you're going to need at least a 12 to a 15 millimeter spacer to get your desired fitment. Guys, your feedback means the world to us. That's why we do this, is to make sure we can get you the wheels that you want with the correct fitment. Now, personally, I'm a huge fan of the MR7. Yeah. I think the white, fire, the fitment, fire. I wanna know what you guys think. I like the MR7, I think it looks good. I think that's the best fitting wheel that Cosmos makes that'll go on an Evo, Evo 8 or 9. It looks great on Evo 10s too. Evo 10s doesn't require a space or anything up front, so. And then our, our special guest of the day from Import Image Racing, what are your thoughts? I would think the, uh, the MR7 I think looks the best on this. It fits well and uh, you don't need a big spacer in the front to poke the wheel out, so you're not gonna be looking staggered. You'll look actually pretty flush all the way across with a five millimeter in the front and without one in the rear. I would choose the white if I was an Evo owner, and I own the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thanks for joining us. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Don't forget, we're going to give away a set of wheels, a set of coilovers when you subscribe to Import Image Racing, Silver's North America, Cosmos Racing, when we hit 10,000 subscribers. Have a great day. See you guys soon.